There are many mobs in Minecraft, and some are much harder to kill than others. But every mob does have a weakness, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best methods to kill each mob in the game. All this will be very simple and will not require you to have like a huge redstone contraption. And if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. But that said, let's get right into it. I'm going to be going through the mobs in alphabetical order, and I will not be including angry pandas or polar bears or llamas, but that's it. Hope you enjoy, and yeah, let's get right into it. Starting off with a blaze. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys two methods to kill blazes, both of which are very simple. I have no armor on and just a diamond sword. But there is two ways that I found that make killing blazes very easy. The first way is to just use a shield. Blaze fireballs will not affect you if you just shield and you can see. Deflected, quite simple, and then three hits will be all it takes to kill the blaze. A bit more tedious, but still working just as well, is using snowballs. I don't know why I put that in offhand. We don't even need a sword, we can just spam snowballs at blazes, and they are actually the only mob, I believe, that take damage from snowballs. You just have to remember it to take uh, a bit, and also to do dodge the fireballs. A quick disclaimer, the shield is very useful most of the time, but I want to be some I want to give some uniqueness. So even though a shield is really great, I want to show other methods to kill certain mobs. And that said, we're gonna look at the cave spider. The cave spider is the slightly more annoying spider because it poisons you when it attacks. I'm just gonna punch it there so it aggros. Yep. Okay. And they do jump very fast. So I think the best way to kill these little guys is to just pull out your trusty bow and arrow. If you snipe the spider, it is a very easy to hit. You can just take it out in just two shots, and it will pose no threat to you whatsoever. The same tip applies to creepers. While you can do this weird thing where you run in and then walk out really quickly and just run in and hit it like that, sniping a creeper with a bow is a much better way because it can't even get close to you, and then it just ends up dying. So definitely a great tactic when you're fighting a creeper is to use a bow. Drowns are really slow. I'm barely even moving in this makeshift pool, and he can't even get me. So there's two good ways to kill drowns, one of which is to, you know, just actually use a sword. It's very hard to lose to these guys, they're extremely slow. Another way is to just walk out, and the drown will follow you, it will burn. And that's a rip. Trident drowns, however, are a whole nother problem. These guys are fierce and do a ton of damage, and there's two great ways to kill them that are very similar. However, the best way is, as always, to use a shield. The shield will deflect the tridents, and it's much easier, easier than trying to dodge it yourself. A good way to kill them with the shield is to just, you know, equip it while you have a weapon in hand. And I can just pop that right here and slowly advance towards the drowned. And it can't do anything about it. It's just going to keep throwing and keep missing, and then I can just stab it out. Just be sure to shield whenever it attacks, or it's going to do a ton of damage. Another really great way to damage a trident drown is to give it a taste of its own medicine. If you are lucky enough to have a trident, you can easily use it as a defense mechanism against the drowned. Just like that. Elder Guardians are up next, and it's important to always carry milk and doors. Doors are a crucial part of fighting guardians, and if you place them right, you can kind of just place a door like that. This is a critical position to place doors against Elder Guardians because then you can close them and hide behind them. Not only will doors give you air pockets, but they will also give you great ways to hide. Even better, if you have blocks, it's to cover yourself up, but doing this with doors is a really easy way to fight the Elder Guardian. If you want to fight him head on, I recommend bringing milk so you can remove the minor fatigue, and then just quickly retreat into your door shelter, and also be sure to have some armor, because it's going to be quite hard to kill him with your fist. The same thing applies for Guardians. Just, you know, plop a door down and they're hopeless. And if you do it correctly, you can actually hide behind the door and close it on the guardian. Just be sure to bring a lot and, of course, as usual, have armor. Because if you have armor, it's going to be much easier to kill these guys. But for now, hiding behind doors is great air and great shelter from these evil beasts. Endermen are quite powerful mobs, but there's two very easy ways to get rid of them. The first, if you're provoking an enderman, is just place down a bucket of water. They won't be able to get anywhere near you, and if you hover next to the edge, they won't be able to attack you, but you can definitely attack them. A shorter way of killing endermen is to just, if you're fighting one or you trigger them, you just hide under a platform that has a two block space from the ground, and make sure it's 3x3 three three or else be able to attack you through the walls, and that's not good at all. If you stay here, the endermen will see you, 
but it can't hit you and you can do this very easily to just stab it while it keeps running towards you. This is a very efficient method to gather ender pearls if you're looking to end bust or doing something in the end. Endermen are weak against this strategy and this neutralizes one of the most powerful mobs in the game. Evokers are one of the hardest mobs in the game to kill, but there is a few methods that make fighting them a bit easier. They spawn vexes and have these extremely powerful ground attacks and I think the best way to deal with them is a bow. As you can see, I do have some armor on because this fight is a bit challenging. You could make a bunker and have some cobweb traps for the vexes, but that's just a lot of effort and that's not what this video is for. This is simple ways to kill it and the best way is to first of all pillar up so the ground attack can't get you and of course be wary of the vexes. The most important thing is to have a bow with you at all times because the bow is insanely powerful. Afterward, just take out the evoker from a distance and he'll be no harm. Now. Ghasts can be pretty terrifying, but there is a very nice way to deal with them. Okay, I'm just up close and personal with this one. But use a bow. That blaze is getting me from all the way over there. Bows are a very easy way to just immediately get rid of a ghast. Now, of course, mine's suffocated in the ground a bit, so that's not a perfect example. But just to be clear, you can use the bow to very simply deflect fireballs and penetrate the ghast when it's very far away. Carrying a bow with you is a very good way to survive in the nether as most nether mobs can be easily defeated by aforementioned weapon. When facing a husk it's simple just don't get hit stab and back away slowly and then just stab and then stab. A very easy kill no problem here. Phantoms are nightmarish creatures and pose a big threat to those starting out in their survival world and if you get shears they're no problem. Shearing some cobwebs find an abandoned mine shaft and strongholds will pose a very easy fort that you can use to farm phantoms while they spawn. Now I'm going to toggle it tonight because otherwise my phantoms will burn. But you can see if I just place a phantom right there and I hop in my little enclosure, as it comes down to swoop on me, it will get stuck in the cobwebs making it very easy to kill. Now this method does require a bit of patience but it's much better than just going out there. The phantom will hit you much more easy, but you can see it diving in, and hopefully it will get stuck. I'm just going to try to lure it in a bit better. Shields are the answer to everything. Just like pillagers with crossbows, the best thing to do is to just shield against them. You can see when they're going to fire by their charging of the crossbow, and this makes it very easy to kill them. This pillager captain wanted to take the fight to the nether, which is okay considering this tactic. Pillager leaders will give you the bad omen which will bring raids to your village when you kill them. So the best way to kill them is to kill them, but not take credit for it. Take your shield, approach the pillager, and just light it on fire. If, oh, I messed that up. If you light it on fire, and I am just seem to be really bad at this, if you light it on fire and it dies like this, you won't get the bad omen effect. This is a very efficient way to keep it from giving you bad omen, and you can kill it just as easily. Ravengers are tough and fast, but there's an easy way to take care of them. And that's not with a shield, as you can see in my inventory. Although, hitting with a shield does work, it doesn't always work, and it's kind of hard. A better way to do it is to just pillar. If you just pillar up a few blocks high, the Ravenger will be helpless, and you can just pick it off with a bow and arrow. It's a bit slower than using a sword, but it works so much better, and you're gonna never die using this method unless you pillar too low. I found that pillaring three or four blocks could result in death. Shulkers are mysterious creatures, but there's a much easier way method to kill them. That was weird phrasing. Um, just use a shield. You can easily deflect the balls if you aim your shield correctly, and then just take some swipes at your shulker. In the case that you do get hit, just place some water and be sure to deflect all the upcoming balls so that you don't get hit again. Shields are a great defense against skeletons. Well, this one's burning up, but you get the idea. Just, you know, be sure to... I just did that awfully, but be sure to use a shield, and skeletons will be no problem whatsoever. Silverfish are so annoying, and they can really pile up in a stronghold. But there's an, a very easy way to kill them. Just pillar up two blocks, and then boom, they can't even get you. You can hover over the edge, and they'll be pointless. And then, you know, just make sure to take your time hitting them, because you don't want the attack cooldown to actually you know, spawn more. So, boom. Slimes can be annoying, and I just recommend swiping at them and making sure not to get hit. They're pretty weak, and they won't really pose much of a threat as long as you swipe well. 
The little ones can't even hurt you, so once you get rid of the big boys, the little ones are all for the balls. Spiders can be dealt with using a bow and arrow, just like their brother the cave spider. Very easy and very quick. Just like their cousin the skeleton, strays, or I believe these ones are called strays, can be easily taken care of using a bow and arrow. Just make sure to know when it's going to shoot so you can use your, I mean, of course, a sword and shield. Uh, just make sure you know when they can shoot. Of course, that one was burning, but it was not a very hard fight. Just make sure to have a shield with you. On their own, vexes are slightly less threatening, but they're super terrible to deal with. I recommend being good at aiming a shield or using a bow. Bow sniping can be done from very far away, making the ve vex not even hard of an opponent. However, if you want to go up close and personal, just make sure you're aiming your shield right, otherwise the vex will be very hard to kill. These guys are called Vindicators. They're super fast and super deadly, and they do so much damage regardless if you have armor or not. And so, of course, the best way to deal with a melee fighter is to just bow spam, bow spam, bow spam, and bow spam. Wow, thanks Windows. And they're gone just like that. Witches can be dealt with, with a sim in, a, in, a similar, in a similar fashion. Just, you know, snipe them out. Very easy to do, and they can do nothing about it as long as you're a sufficient distance away. We can use the same trick to kill wither skeletons that we used to kill endermen. So just, if we have one here, go underneath a two block platform, and of course make sure in the center or else that will happen, and nobody wants to die, and then just hit them out because they'll just keep coming back for more and they're useless against this very simple defense. Zombies and zombie pigmen are very simple to deal with. Both just require that you be precise with your timing. Just, you know, hit them and they won't be able to get close. Same thing with pigmen, they're a bit faster but nonetheless very easy to kill. If you want to be careful, use a bow, but it's very simple to just kill them without any trouble. And that actually concludes our whole list of mobs. If you guys did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you do have any methods to kill other mobs I didn't mention, then be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I know I didn't include any of the bosses, and I might make a separate video on that if you guys are interested, because there are definitely great ways to kill the bosses, and some not-so-good ways. Anyway, once again, be sure to subscribe if you haven't made it this far, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!